I've been asked to speak about what we might see in the future in the next 12 or 24 months and I think there's kind of four main areas we'll see advances in. The first is in a number of really important prospective clinical trials that Steve spoke about. One of those is the effects of um, early treatment and whether people can safely stop treatment and stay in remission. Those studies are happening, um, including uh, some very interesting studies in Thailand that I think we'll hear about shortly. Second really important area is about tools to measure the virus and how we all measure different things in different labs and can we do better to coordinate it and a very large study funded by the Gates Foundation run out of UCSF that's going to look at that. And finally the area of combination shock and kill, you heard again about that from Steve and John, um, giving a latency activating agent and boosting the immune system. The second area will be a better understanding of the virus and how to shut it down, maybe silence it or how to activate it. We started with these drugs, HDAC inhibitors, that were pretty crude instruments and we're learning a lot more that there are better ones to activate either alone or in combination, maybe manipulating other things like the hormonal environment. The third area is the area of um, immune re the immune response and uh, we think both are important, getting rid of the virus and boosting the immune response and there have been so many major advances in the, that area in other fields. You heard about in the vaccine field the advances in broadly neutralising antibodies, new vectors, we're hoping that will bring um, benefits to the cure field but in the cancer field all of these new agents that, um, that are improving cancer that block one example PD-1 or k Truda those immune checkpoint markers or blockers are going to be really important, we think, in boosting immunity in the setting of cure. And finally, there's new ways of, of working that I think we're going to see the, and hopefully see the benefits of new partnerships. Um, we've, we've talked a lot about engaging pharma. That I think that is at risk. However, there are some new initiatives, um, Cura, UNC and GSK partnering. I'm hoping we'll see more of those. AMFA putting a cons considerable amount of money into cure research, establishing a new cure institute that will be announced later in the year. And I'm hoping that we can um, and really see better and more innovative models of working in partnership with <coughs> pharma, with big pharma, with small pharma, with governments beyond the US government, and, and, and more importantly also with the community. I think our messaging around cure is getting a bit clearer. I think we can work a bit better on that, um, you know, talking about remission here not cure um, and you know greater partnerships with the community as well.